Hey, it's Ed. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about a, a brand new app from Chem OK called KebArp. Um, that's how I say it. I've heard it pronounced differently, but I'm going to call it KebArp. Uh, it is, uh, it's not an arpeggiator, uh, despite ARP being in the name. It is a what I would call a melody enhancement tool or a melody improvement tool, basically, that takes something simple and makes it into something more interesting, uh, and the sky's the limit. So uh, let me jump right in. Now, I'm just going to talk about a couple tips. I'm going to refer you to some other um, videos that demonstrate the app in general and talk about all its features and things like that. So I'm going to show you in this particular project here um, how I've used it and a couple suggestions on how you can use it in your own project. So let's dive right in. So what I've got loaded up here uh, is uh, I got two instances of Cavarp right here. Uh, this upper one is doing a, a melody line uh, going to the piano on the left over there, this decent sampler piano right here. And then the um, lower one is going to uh, beat hawk over here. There's a bass sound over there. So that's the way I got it set up. So let me uh, give you an example of what it sounds like without. I'm going to switch patterns here. That's an empty pattern. Empty pattern. Now if I play this again, that's all the stuff that's going on in the background. And if I bring in Kebar, Now that's a pretty simple example. You know, there's uh, there's not that much going on in this project. I was able to, with very, very little effort, add some additional interest and additional melody lines and bass lines to this project fairly quickly with Kevar. I'm gonna talk about how I did that. So here, what I've got is a simple little pattern. Just quickly, I've got a, a Phrygian scale here. I've got the re-triggers turned off so that it's gonna play through the whole pattern on both of these instances. The other thing I'm doing here, just to explain how I've got it set up, is I'm feeding it from chord bud, which is actually uh, sending out chords, and that's being fed to KevArp, both of these instances. However, um, you know, KevArp is, is designed to take one single note as, as an input. It's just gonna go ahead and take whatever it wants from the chords that are coming in, and it works fine. So don't, don't hesitate to use it with, uh, scalar or chord bot or whatever whatever app you want to try and, and see what happens so let me jump back here so what i want to talk about is two things so when you're using cab uh, i think of uh, two possible approaches you can start out with blank slate what i've done here is i just cleared everything out and then you can start adding um, things to this so let me switch over here to two blank patterns so you can start from zero start your you can start with something you've already got, or you can start from scratch with just Kevarp. I'm gonna show in this example, I've got a little background already going, some chord movement. Now if I just randomly click around here, oh, that sounds, that sounds pretty bad, right? So here's the trick, you, you can start out with a blank. Um, you're gonna have to pick carefully where these things go. There. Um, what I've done here is I, I took a, a few notes, kind of randomly moved them around, um, and then I adjusted them so that they sounded better with uh, what was going on in the background. So that's one approach you can use. The, all right, the second approach you can use is you can start from something really complicated, right? Like you can go out here and you can uh, make something with like 16 steps, something really crazy, right? And then start working your way backwards. So uh, there's really two approaches um, to using CabArp. And what I think is great about it is that um, it just gives you a way to quickly try things out and it immediately starts taking those, whatever you're feeding it and sort of spicing it up and mixing it up and changing the sound of it. Everything you play on here is gonna change depending on both the scale 
uh, that you've chosen here and on the notes that are inputting. And it changes in very unpredictable ways, but a lot of musical ways as well. So uh, basically, that's uh, that covers it. I uh, definitely recommend checking out the other videos to see uh, how KebArp works. And I also re recommend checking out some of the other Bud apps, which I have here, and I'll talk about those in other videos. Thanks for watching.